how I alternated. I'll show you that real quick. Do that, just kind of alternate. Just kind of alternate your cuts, little V cuts. The less you take out in the middle, right now, ultimately, the easier this entire project, the less you take out in the middle, the less you take out in the middle, ultimately, the easier this entire project's gonna be because I'm leaving myself a lot of room here. I can make them narrower. I can make the ends come in more on them. Uh, I can make rounder. Uh, it's gonna be easy to get in. It's gonna be easy to get in here because you wanna come, you wanna do a straight plunge cut from here to about here, right? And from about here, to about here straight plunge cut all the way through at some point you're going to be cutting all the way through these so leave yourself plenty of meat leave these two touching until the very last uh, it's just going to be a lot easier to carve them uh, I, I found keeping them connected the longer you keep them connected for uh, the better and when you get it when you get your initial rough out when you get them all opened up and looking like a chain, uh, then you can start one at a time from end to end. You do this end, work this one, leave that one attached, finish that one, then go to the next one, finish that one attached. You'll see as we go along. We're probably going to do two or three videos on this because I'm having fun with it. Uh, the whole time lapse thing, yeah, it gets more views, it's easier to watch for people with short attention spans, but I wanna teach you guys something here. I like teaching more than I like just going for popularity contests. So thanks for sticking around. Uh, like I said, this is one of those sub sort of beginner projects. You see, I've only made straight straight cuts at this point. I've already started to rough it out. I'm out of gas, so I gotta fuel up again. <laughs>
See there guys, it's starting to already form up chain links. Pretty simple really, you see I started to figure out where and here you want to get it away from this one but you don't want to cut into that one you just want to clean away this plunged all the way down through so just take your time just go slow at it I'm going a little bit fast maybe oh uh, there's that third one I didn't even have it in camera uh, but see you just take your time I'm just kind of Nothing's perfect here. I'm not going by a pattern or any measurements or anything. So it's going to be wonky to start with. Don't worry about it. Just keep cutting them, shaving them down slowly. <laughs> So you guys see it, right? Are you following along with me? I, it would be really cool if somebody was actually carving while watching this and learning. Someone who's never done it before. Um, so when one stops, you give a little bit of space and the other begins. Because you want space in between them so that you can disconnect them. You want to be able to get the saw in there. We're going to keep thinning these out from the inside not on the outside. The outside is the very last. You want your shape to come out of the inside. Now you can see it happening. 
right the hardest part of this carving actually is in between where the two links connect you can you can shape everything around that until you're actually cleared out thinner more open it's it, it's one of those things I do it a little bit fast um, because I've done it before but there's it's just a lot of hollowing out and cutting holes out which I it's fun I, I really enjoy this kind of carving so if this is it for this lesson um, thank you guys for uh, hanging out and watching to this point and <laughs>